Hello everyone, welcome back to Piston Cup Productions and welcome to my 2022 room tour. And this time around it is to celebrate 100,000 subscribers. Don't worry, this isn't the only video I'll be doing to celebrate 100K. There's plenty of other videos that I'm gonna be making to celebrate the milestone, such as a Disney World trip, the 100K subscribers, um, YouTube, the silver play button, let's just call it that. That actually has a spot already. It comes in the next couple of weeks. And it's going to be displayed right here. I already got a little pin ready to hang it up. But yeah, this is one of the first videos you'll be seeing in celebration of 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you guys so much. Couldn't have done it without you guys. There is a live stream on my channel of me hitting 100K if you want to go see that yourselves. But um, let's get on to the room tour. Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to Piston Cup Productions. And... It's sort of a yearly thing now that I do these, so here is the 2022 room tour. I hope you guys enjoy it, so let's start with the tour. So to start off, um, the last time I did this room tour last year, there was about 1,800 cars, pieces overall, that includes plushies, plastic stuff, die cast from Mattel and Disney Store, Tomica, color changers, micro drifters, all that good stuff. This year, a rough estimate, there's about 2,500 pieces. So it's grown quite a bit in just about a year. Um, there is, as you can see, a lot of changes from the last time you've seen my room. Um, for the, one of the biggest changes I made was up here, there used to be a Toy Story collection. That's done now in favor of having just a full car shelf now. So now you have cars, one memorabilia right here, cars, two stuff there, some of it's in boxes. And the newest thing that I made was this shelf for cars on the road stuff. It's kind of empty right now because, you know, there's not a lot of merch at the time that I'm recording this. Pretty much all that's out is just the color changer stuff. Mattel 155 scale diecast is only out everywhere else except the United States. So until it arrives in the United States, I'll get it and it'll be housed there. Well, this isn't even cars on the road. It's just it's just there because why not? Anyways, so this first shelf right here is Cars 1, basically. So you got your main characters on the first two shelves, like Luigi, Guido, Ramon, Red, Sarge, Fillmore, Sheriff, Doc... And then down here you have Sally, Flo, a bunch of other customs as well. Some like, for example, this one that I made a couple videos back. Like, you walk into this room, you're going to see a lot of references to all their past videos of mine. Here you got like tuners and like um, Cars Land stuff. Here's more Radiator Spring stuff. Cars 1 Piston Cup Racers, Dynaco stuff. It's really hard to get down and, you know, see all this stuff. I mean, I even have trouble myself reaching down there with my hands. But that's more Cars 1 Piston Cup stuff and Rusty's uh, Tent People, Me and Tia variations. Some Disney Store stuff and some haulers from all three movies. Well, one in three, I should be saying. And I guess we'll start from the bottom right here. Um, those are Endurance Racers and XRS stuff from Cars 3. Uh, then you got Cars 3 Next Gens, Cars 3 Stock Cars, the Florida 500, Thunder Hollow. And up here is the Rusty's Racing Center and Doc's Racing Days or the Clutter Pin. And then over here is Cars 2, which is the World Grand Prix Racers and all the variations. Uh, Cars 2 characters. And then here is Cars 2 main characters like Miles Axelrod, the Lemons, Holly and Finn, the Deluxes, blah, blah, blah. And then here, this is the Precision Series section of my room. You got the Doc Hudson with the Piston Cups up there, Lightning, Sally, Mac. You can't really see some of them that well because they're all stacked up on top of each other. But they're all there. The collection's pretty much complete besides... The cancelled ones, which I don't have, which is Cruz, Intro Ramon, Rusty's McQueen, Rusty's Racing Center McQueen. I don't have those cancelled ones yet, but if I do, they'll be there. So then this shelf right here that we already took a look at, we've seen that already. So that's Cars on the Road stuff. Um, this right here is Mater stuff. So you got Mater from Cars 1 and Cars Tunes. And then down here, you have a lot of Disney Store and San Diego and D23 stuff. Uh, well, San Diego Comic Con, I should be saying. It's pretty nice. Disney Store vehicles are, you know, a lot bigger. They take up a lot more space, so they need that bigger shelf. And then down here is Maters from Cars 2, 3, and XRS. For example, the XRS Mater with the suspension, um, the Rusty's Team McQueen Mater, the Metallic Racing Red one, the Pixar Fest one. And there's some other goodies in here, like some custom ones that I've made, like this one that I used for one of my movies. There's a Santa Car Mater in here as well that I made at one point. And, you know, there's just a bunch of good things in there that you just don't typically see without taking out the shelf. Uh, this bottom shelf right here is the larger stuff from Mater. So you got like this Jada 124 scale, I believe, of Mater. A track talker of Mater. 
this you the bomb interactive mater that's made out of plastic it does a bunch of funky stuff i've reviewed this before a cars land mater popcorn bucket from disneyland from the 10th anniversary of the park uh you command mater or the real mater something like that i think it's the real mater that's the name of this guy and then you got this tokyo drifting mater and this little dracula mater straw from uh cars land i don't actually have a dracula mattel mater or taco truck mater from mattel i just have their disney store version see there's a taco truck of mater and there's a dracula version of mater as well as the private eye version and a bunch of other like goofy ones like a purple tokyo mater a metallic tokyo mater all these like ice cream truck mater uh chinese food sushi truck mater and this 95 souvenirs i mean mater's had so many pieces of merchandise it's it's one of my favorite things to collect besides mcqueen but we'll get to that later so down here there's a lot of good stuff as well you got Cruz Ramirez. It's basically her Mattel releases, her haulers being the the Mac, and I forgot the name of her hauler. I don't know if she even has a name. And then you have this interactive. This this was before Track Talkers, and then this one I believe is from Disney Story. It does a flip in a 360. And down here we got the Jada props from the Adventures in Lightning of Cruz or the PCP shorts. This was a stunt double. The original is actually right here. And this one does have the actual little like lightning bolt printed on her. So this is the original. The other one's a stunt double because we would need duplicates during filming and stuff. And here is basically a bunch of Disney Store Cruiser Mirrors and a Jada Golden Cruiser Mirrors as well from D23 if I'm not mistaken. That one's really cool. And then right here, Francesco even has a section as well. This is a Disney Store one that has monster truck tires. Epic fail video. I hated reviewing that thing. This one is from Cars 2. A lot more reliable and cooler. He talks and stuff. He has lights and sounds. A remote control Francesco, as well as all the Mattel releases from Francesco, ranging from Cars 2 all the way to Ice Racers, Carnival Racers, and Racing Red from the 15th anniversary. I don't have the... What is it called? Francesco from the Carbon Racers yet? But hopefully I get them soon. And then lastly, Jackson Storm has a section down here as well. You got um, this talking one, a bunch of Mattel ones, Disney Star ones, remote control vehicles, just a bunch of cool stuff. One thing I will say though about all this is that like a lot of my remote control vehicles, I have to take the batteries out of them because February of 2021, there was a big freeze here where I live in McAllen. And basically, when I opened up some of the toys, like, for example, let me find an example here. Okay, here's an example. Something like this that takes batteries. You unscrew the battery compartment, you open it up, and the batteries were either exploded or leaking. So, ever since that incident in February of 2021, I've taken out all the batteries from my toys, and now I just have them in a sort of bin. So, if I want to test something out for a video or just play with it because I'm bored, I have to put in the batteries every time I want to use it. Just to preserve the toys because i like taking care of the toys i don't want them getting ruined because of battery corrosion uh let's see star wars up here we took a look at this at the beginning but those are all in packaging very rare hard to find and those are from the disney parks they're awesome one of my favorite collections for sure and then speaking of disney parks as well we have the two elusive and exclusive cars first anniversary uh three packs or two packs this is a two pack with wedding day stanley and lizzie and this is a three pack with stanley mater and lightning mcqueen and then this right here is a little row of lightning mcqueens from disney star there's a metallic lightning mcqueen here as well from target and then down here you got all of my disney store lightning mcqueens starting from cars one going into some random paint job ones and then going all the way to cars three and then down here, you got all the Lightning McQueens from Mattel. You can just take a look there at all the different things that they have. I mean, there's just so many Lightning McQueens to collect. Basically, any Lightning McQueen you see in a scene of a movie, it most likely exists. So this shelf right here is Cars 1, uh, Cars Storytellers, and I think that's it. Yeah, because right here at the beginning is Cars 1. But then here at the end, I put the storytellers like the Mater Saves Christmas, Mousewell McQueen, and Disney Parks, Mickey Mouse. I, I don't know what the heck that one's called. Anyways, down here is Cars Tunes and Cars 2. There's not as much as Cars, well, there's still a lot of Lightning McQueens, right? But this shelf's a little bit more empty in comparison to my shelf of Cars 1 Lightning McQueens. A very nice shelf as well. You've got lots of gems like, uh, here's a good one. This is one 
of my favorites from Cars Tunes. That's one of my favorites. Uh, this Talking Lightning McQueen from Cars 2. Again, I took out the batteries to take care of it. That's one of my favorites. Here's another cool one. Kachao Francesco from the end of Cars 2. That one is very nice as well. Another of my favorites. And just other cool stuff like uh, Paint Splattered McQueen from Easter. Uh, Student Driver Lightning McQueen. Or, uh, Radiator Springs 500 and a half Lightning McQueen. And uh, I even have an error in here somewhere. I, I don't know. I think it's this one. Yeah, here's the error. So this one is completely blank from the back. So that's usually what he's supposed to look like. And this one's just a complete error. Very cool one indeed. I think this is Lightning McQueen with Travel Wheels. I think that's the name of this guy. And the one I was just showing you might be a Party Wheels variation from Italy. When he was talking with Uncle Topolino. Something like that. He's part of some multi-pack. And then down here is Cars 3. And that's pretty much it. So you start off with the Metallic Rusty's Lightning McQueen. Cupcake Lightning McQueen. And it basically goes from there in order of their appearances throughout, uh, throughout Cars 3. And I forgot to mention, there's also XRS stuff here, like the Mud Racers, the Drag Racers. Here's the original that I used for racing like a drag racer. So you can see that one's completely messed up because, you know, I had to use an extra for filming. So... That's an original prop from that movie. Uh, there's all the Pixar stuff as well. And uh, the Endurance Racers are in there as well. And then over here we have the NASCAR Lightning McQueens. And here are some of the other ones like the Metallics, the, the Golden Ones. And these are factory customs, these four right here. And these are all from China. And then down here we have um, some of my larger Lightning McQueens that also take batteries. Now this right here was one of my first Lightning McQueens as a kid. This is the walkin' talkin' Lightning McQueen. And this is one of the first ones I ever had. Um, I had to take out the batteries because I don't want it getting ruined, but one of my first cars ever. Another of my originals that I still have here from when I was a kid is this one right here. And you can just tell by like the way it's damaged on the little corners right there. This is one of my originals. I also, oh, my... Schumacher Ferrari that Luigi meets at the end of Cars 1. Th that Ferrari I've never replaced. It's still my original. It's over there in the Cars 1 shelf. But I never replaced that Ferrari. It's one of my first cars that I ever had as a kid. And then down here, all the Jada Lightning McQueens. Not this one. This is the Disney Parks Lightning McQueen. But from here over here is Cars 1 Lightning McQueen, Danica Lightning McQueen, Cruising Lightning McQueen, Rusty's Cars 3 Lightning McQueen, and Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen. And then down here, this Lightning McQueen, you can sort of switch different parts out. You can swap the mouths out, the side panels, different stuff like that. And then here... <sighs> Go Buddy Lightning McQueen. Go buddy. Go buddy. I fucking hate this thing. I don't know why I still have it, besides the fact that it's one of my favorite paint jobs but I hate this thing. If you've seen the live stream where I review this, you'll know why, but I hate this thing. And then here you have, there we go. So here is a Disney store, Lightning McQueen. This one's really cool because you press the button and it shakes. Another one I've reviewed before. It's just so awesome. Like I really wish I had batteries in these guys so I can just show you them all on display and play right now, but they're just so cool. I mean, some of my favorite Lightning McQueens ever. This one I got at the flea market, and you press this, and basically there's like little fireballs inside of the wheels. It's so cool. And they made several versions of this guy. They made this one. I think they might have made an Ice Racers version as well. What else is here? Oh, another one of my originals. My aunt bought me this back when Toys R Us was still a thing. It is a Neon Racers Lightning McQueen, and it lights up beautifully. It's one of my favorites, and it's remote control as well. I mean, it's, it's one of my favorite paint jobs as well. I mean, there's just so many cool things here another favorite remote control vehicle of mine is this radiator springs 500 and a half lightning mcqueen this one you press it and it makes all sorts of different noises and stuff hmm, it's got a loose wire in there for some reason you just get a close-up of that near the tire probably need to fix that or you know what just push it back in i don't know i don't know what that's about Anyways, one of my favorites because he has thick rubber tires. Like, this is, like, good rubber for a remote control car. And there's still a lot of dirt stuck in the wheels because I have used this out in dirt before. 
it's just one of my favorites. I mean, the phrases, the the chunkiness of it, it's just a really, really good remote control car from, I think it's from Mattel. Oh, it's by Thinkway Toys, the same people who made the Toy Story Signature Collection. Very impressive. Now, this is a Disney Store Lightning McQueen that drifts, and this one's another good one. It's a similar concept to this meter right here, the way this one drifts, but a lot larger. And they also have a Tokyo Lightning McQueen version of this guy, or Dragon Lightning McQueen, and a Tokyo Mater in this larger scale, but I don't have those. I used to have the Dragon Lightning McQueen, but that's long gone. This is the U-Command Lightning McQueen. This one throws smoke from the exhaust pipes, and it's just so freaking cool. I mean, this is another one of my favorites. I love them all. Like, I can't even lie. They're all so amazing. Tech Touch Lightning McQueen. This one has a little... LC, not LCD screen, uh, just a regular screen. I'm not sure what th they said, Mattel. They said this was some sort of high-tech screen. But, yeah, this is another cool one. I don't, I don't think it has batteries, does it? Yeah, no, I took them out. That was wise of me. And lastly, on this Lightning McQueen shelf is those six Lightning McQueens down here. Basically, the idea of all of these is they have these, like, four little buttons right here. And this one, for example, lights up his little lucky sticker. This one makes uh, engine sounds, this one makes tire screeching sounds, and this one is a talking sound. And they all have moving eyes. Now, most of these I purchased through eBay. One of my proudest finds on eBay ever was getting this one for literally 99 cents. This is one of the cheapest cars I've ever purchased ever in my life. And it is the Smell Swell Lightning McQueen. My original, though, that I had as a kid is this one right here, the Dynaco version. This was all, another one of my first cars when I was a kid. Uh, let's see. So we're done with all this. Oh, this is another one of my first ones, Fast Talking McQueen, another favorite of mine. This is a popcorn bucket from Cars Land. So um, let's jump up to the top. So up here we have Big Al from D23. And all of these Lightning McQueens from Disney Store, part of the Artist Series collection, each one designed by different creators from the Cars franchise. You have this sort of Aviator Lightning McQueen. I like to call this the Mustang GT Lightning McQueen, the Foos Lightning McQueen, the, oh, what's the name of this one? But this one was my first one from this collection. My aunt bought me that one. And the John Lasseter Hawaiian Lightning McQueen. And of course, a room of PCP is in a room without a, a bunch of piston cups. So you got, all these piston cups that I've collected during my time of collecting. Little Micro Drifter Golden Lightning McQueen. Little squishies of Cruise and McQueen and Gold. I forgot the name of those, but I think they're called, uh... I have no idea. I forgot what they're called. Anyways, of course, Lightning McQueen Crocs. The legendary Lightning McQueen Crocs have to be on display, of course. Sphere Lightning McQueen White Box. There is two versions of this box. The white version, and the black version. I had the black version box, but I got rid of it for some reason back when I was like 14. I'm guessing because I was short on space. But this white box is a lot rarer. And here I got uh, Lightning McQueen sunglasses, these magic headbands from Cars Land, I think. And of course my Lightning McQueen motorcycle helmet. That's just awesome. I love it. Um, here is my what is this? Tomica. Yeah, Tomica and color changer stuff. And then down here we have the, what is it called? Bandai Chogoken Lightning McQueens and Mini Adventures. And those are really cool. Down here I have a popcorn bucket of McQueen from Christmas and Cars 3 and a Disney Store Build to Race Lightning McQueen. All these little wishable Lightning McQueen plushies. Me and T and Lightning McQueen on the turntable. I don't think this has batteries, does it? I think I might have taken them out, but this turntable spins and it's awesome. One of the best pieces I have also in my collection. And down here you have Sum Sums, Max from J Dove, Mattel, Disney Store, Tomica. There's just a bunch. They go all the way back there with that Mac from Radiator Streams 500 and a half to my original Cars 2007 Mac. And then down here you have a Shake and Go Mac. Ice Creamer is back there for some reason. That one, you push the tires on the back and he punches. And then that Mac opens up to Radiator Springs. I forgot the, the name of that Mac playset, but that was one of my first playsets as well as a kid. 
And lastly, right here, we got the Cozy Cone D23 Alarm, a bunch of popcorn buckets from Cars Land, little memorabilia from Cars Land, as well as wooden cars. And then a bunch of books right there, The Art of Cars, a bunch of little pins and stuff, piston cups, dinical cups, you name it, it's all next to my nightstand. And that's basically where I charge my phone, put my wallet after a busy day, got my HomePod, all that good stuff. And then right here, we've got my mini racers collection and they're sort of displayed and stored in these um fish food containers my dad gave me these from this fishing lunchbox thing he bought and he was like hey maybe these will be useful in your room and i was like maybe and i was like i wonder what'll fit in them and i was like i got it mini racers so that's how i store my mini racers now pretty effective if i do say so myself and this was a christmas gift at one point for my aunt that is full metal. It is a sheet metal of the Radiator Spring sign from Cars Land. And now we're going to move on to the Marvel section over here. So the Marvel section starts off with all of this right here. You've got these comic covers of Spider-Man and Scarlet Witch. That's mainly the thing I collect for Marvel. It's Scarlet Witch and Spider-Man. This autograph poster down here. A Black Widow poster. The sort of moving lithographic posters from LA that I purchased up here we got a lot of um, memorabilia and stuff like these Marvel Legends of Scarlet Witch, Gwen Stacy, these little cos baby figures like this is a cos baby figure that's a cos baby figure that's a spider-man backpack up there from Avengers Campus, spider-man poster from No Way Home, spider-man Hot Wheels, spider-man cos baby MJ and what's the chick uh, I mean Peter Parker my bad <laughs> MJ and Peter Parker um Spider-Man Japan Hot Wheels, Spider-Man t-shirt in a VHS box. That's the box that that came in. Trace E from the Spidey and His Amazing Friends TV show. Web journal from Avengers Campus. Goggles from Avengers Campus. Pins from Funko. Sodas from Funko. Oh my goodness, I have so much stuff. I, wow, it's just tiring. Lego Spider-Man, Lego Scarlet Witch. Shwarma. Um... You, you basically build this into a, like a little table, something like that. That's how it's supposed to go. Those are from Amazon. I'll fix that later. Um, up there, I got my web shooters. Starting off with like the water ones, then the iron spider ones, and the what if spidey web shooters, and then those mechanical working web shooters that shoot out um, string, and these Avengers Campus web shooters. And then right here is a bunch of Funko Pops, essentially. Oh, and of course, this is where I record all of my videos. Last time I recorded my room tour, the desk was moved over here this way. But now I moved it in here. So you've got my printer. You've got my gaming chair. You've got my Iron Man helmet down there. All of my car uh, camera equipment in that other cubicle right there. My tripod. Um, and then over here in this little corner, you got all of my Marvel Legends on this wall right here. And all of that stuff on the floor that's um, from Avengers Campus as well and then right here I have this Walmart display that I took home and that's full of stuff like the Golden Lightning McQueen from Toys R Us Racing Red Mini Racers um, I have all of the Racing Reds on package so I have two sets one open and one in box this one was 25 bucks but it's gone up a lot recently I don't know why like out of all of the Racing Reds for some reason that's the rarest one so yeah, they, they all have stuff inside. These are all Mexico International packaging. Here's stuff from like, oh, this is this goes way back. I mean, look at that. Yeah, this stuff goes way back. And I remember signing this one because I got this um, when I was producing the very first movie I ever made, Racing Like a Fireball. So sort of like a little memory. Um, here's a super chase of Cruz Ramirez. There's other Cruiser Mirrors extras back there in case I need them for PCP shorts. And 2022 diecast down there as well. Um, Luigi's Rock and Roasters vehicles as well as this Error Mater that I got at Big Lots a couple years ago that has those stupid eyes. But for four bucks, I'll take it. And up here, last but not least, we have Ultimate Lightning McQueen on display. This is one of the two that I have because I have two. I have one in a suitcase in a briefcase that I'll show you guys in a bit and this one this is my original that I used at Disneyland and that I've purchased back when it first was released but it got damaged from Lysol spray 
So now the paint is kind of ruined. So that's why I bought a second one. So stupid me, right? But hey, at least I got an extra now. And then this is a Cars 1 poster signed by Owen Wilson himself. And then right here we got this Toys R Us 2-pack with Lightning McQueen and Fabius Lightning McQueen. And this 2-pack of McQueen and Mater, which is from the beginning of this year. I don't know why I bought it, but it's there. And then this poster signed by various people like I think Army Hammer, maybe Cristela Alonso, Owen Wilson for sure is there. I think Natalie Certain's there as well, and I think Miss Fritter. I'm not sure. I think it's a list of six actors, and I think maybe John Ratzenberger's there. I'm not sure. I need to look at the certificate behind the poster. But there's a lot of actors on that. What about the director? I think the director's there as well. Okay. It could be. And then right here, this curtain, when it's nighttime and it's dark out, I just close this for, like, privacy, you know? Or even when it's, like, really sunny outside, this comes in handy if I don't want that much sunlight coming in. And it goes quite a bit down. Yeah, it goes all the way there. But I can't display the whole picture because of my bed. But yeah, this is pretty cool. My aunt got me this years ago when I was still like 9 or 10. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, here's the bed. When I rest after a day's work of YouTube and stuff. Pretty comfy. It's not a, a Lightning McQueen bed, but... You know, it'll do, I guess. Oh, we haven't even touched upon all of this. So basically, this is every Lightning McQueen that's come out from 2006 all the way to 2022. Pretty impressive lineup, if I do say so myself. I've tried collecting them and putting them in order to sort of just remember everything that's come out from the beginning all the way to up until now. And then up here, we have a lot of random stuff in packaging, like that Cars 2 Mac, Disney Store Key, Disney Infinity Figures, cast member exclusive Disney Star Lightning McQueen, Tomika Golden Lightning McQueen, and Mater and Mac, Best Buy Lightning McQueen, Take Flight Metallic, Mater and Lightning McQueen from Toys R Us. Um, the, I forgot where they sold that three pack from McQueen, but it has like these convention pieces inside of it. You know what, let me get it down so I can show you guys, because this one's another favorite piece of mine. No! I wish I was taller, but basically she would have told me. I know, cause I'm like what five, eight. I'm like five eight, five nine, and my brother's like <laughs> six, six foot something. Something. So if I need to get stuff up from up there, I need to get a ladder. Even to get stuff from up there, <laughs> I'm short, and I'm the oldest one in the family. Anyways, pretty cool. One of my favorite sets. Forgot what convention this was from it was either san diego comic-con or d23 one of the two i think it was san diego comic-con though i really wish i had this on display though hey but the box isn't damaged looks fine all right let me try tippy toying no nah, i don't think i'm gonna make it let me help i got it i got it but i get foot cramps from that it's not it's not it's not good i wish i was a little bit taller anyways this little drawing right here Autographed by Jay Ward, one of the creative directors from Cars. I love this here with this sort of gray background of my wall. And of course, we've got the Precision series all here on this shelf, all together. Except the cones, of course, because the cones aren't going to fit here. I do want to take this door down. I can unscrew it so I can have just all of it on display. But yeah, this door is kind of annoying. Oh, and also on my Precision Series little display wall right here, there's a little keychain from Cars. It's pretty heavy, so I don't really use it as a keychain. It's just as a little display piece. And my car keys as well hanging right there. But yeah, that's my Precision Series all on display. This shelf, I bought it at Walmart. Actually, all of my shelves are from Walmart. Except this one. This one was from Kmart back when they were still open. Oh, and here's my Schumacher Ferrari. So you can see it's kind of damaged. This is one of my originals from when I was a kid. It's very chipped but I still love it all the same. So now, here is the closet. And basically, it's more of a storage unit than a closet. But if you just took out my clothing, it's a storage unit, literally. There's my Toy Story collection. And I get to come in here and look at this beautiful ass every time I come in here. It's amazing. Woody, Jesse, mainly in here, with the exception of like Bo Peep. Those boxes have car stuff 
Now, one of these case boxes have extras. That's where I keep my extras. It's not a lot, but usually when I get like mini racers duplicates, 155 scale duplicates, you know, like random stuff like that, I store them in those boxes. But I think only one of them has duplicates. The other ones either have remote controls for my remote control cars or the accessories that come with vehicles like the collector cards, the, the cones or the bumper stickers or um, like the the road trip series that had like little de detachable trailers from McQueen and Mater and Mac. I mean, not Mac Fillmore. And, you know, it's just accessories, basically. And even the advent calendars from the mini racers are up in there in, in one of those boxes. And then in the Dynacle box where the Convoy Brothers came in, inside there is a Micro Drifters Tokyo playset track, which is pretty cool. Uh, last time I did a collection video, my Descendants collection was out on display. Not anymore. It's all on this, uh, all in a box, essentially. Uh, my mini brands should be in here. I think. There's a lot of... It's just random stuff in there, but since they're so light, you can't tell if they're in there or not. And what's up? What's back there? Oh, oh what, what the there? heck? I don't know what's up there. I think it's just boxes of car stuff. I there, think it's from, like, there's, Tomica? I think it's... Yeah, it's either Tomica and D23. Oh, and, oh, okay. So at the very back corner over there, there's an extra Chogokin Lightning McQueen. Because, like I said, when we would film the PCP shorts, even still now, I like buying stunt doubles. So there's a stunt double of the Chogokin Lightning McQueen with the interchangeable faces. There's a there's a spare still in box, just in case I ever need one. Actually, if you've seen my behind the scenes of Lightning's Madness, you'll know that the original that I've always owned is broken. So that's why I have that extra one in the closet. But yeah, I don't have an extra of the Fabulous Lightning McQueen. I barely even use that one anyways. But any one episode. He was like in one episode and that was it. So, uh, finishing off with the closet. All my Buzz Lightyear's are in here. You can tell because of the two signature boxes up there. My PlayStation 5's up there. Um, and here's my Captain America suit. And here's my Miraculous Ladybug collection. Because I used to be on display as well, but not anymore. All of these boxes, if I'm not mistaken, are receipts. Because since I do taxes, I do need to keep track of my receipts. So, for example, this is for this month. There are my receipts for August. So, this is 2019, 2018. Actually, no. In this box, is my Disney Infinity figures. I have no idea what's in this. And those are more receipts boxes from 2021 and 2020. Um, let's see. More random stuff here. License plates from my car before I turned them into something different. Um, this didn't fit in the gray box. Because Buzz Lightyear is a really difficult thing to store. So this one didn't fit in there. Crap movie anyways. Um, and here's a uh, calendar that I would use a lot in my videos for backgrounds. This is from 2020? Oh no, 2021. Well, both years essentially, but I kept it because the backgrounds are just really nice. And like even for photos, they're just really nice. So instead of throwing it away, the calendar, I just kept it and now I'm recycling it pretty much for background and reuse. So. Don't forget to recycle. <laughs> so here is all of my cars and Marvel clothing, essentially. So we got this John Lasseter t-shirt here from Cars 3. I haven't worn it yet, but it was kind of expensive. I mean, it's Rain Spooner. I think that's the company Spoon Spooner. I don't know the name of the guy who made that. Let's see. What's, what's so special about this? Oh, okay. I oh. see now. These are Lightning McQueen themed pants that a friend of my mom made for me for a photo shoot. By the way, follow me on Instagram and you'll see all my photo shoots where this stuff appears in. Uh, that's Marvel clothing, Cars clothing. Yeah, see, there's, there's just a bunch of Cars t-shirts in here. Shirt that the Diecast kid made for me. Cars Land shirt. They're all very comfortable. Spider-Man shirt. Uh, winter's coming up and, well, the fall, I should say. The fall's coming up. This is going to come in handy. Haven't worn this once, I think. Actually... I think I only wore it once or at Disneyland probably. Probably just at Disneyland and after that I never wore it again. So I have mine. I only wore it twice. Yeah. I mean it's because they're really they're really warm inside. I mean they're good quality. <laughs> thick. They're really thick quality and stuff. Another favorite shirt of mine. I think I got this on Amazon years ago, but one of my favorites for sure. And then one of my newest shirts from Cars on the Road. You see McQueen's paint shop right there, that's how you can tell. But yeah, I've worn this once already. It's pretty solid, pretty comfortable. Got it on Amazon. 
Um, another Cars Land shirt. This one really brings out my arms. I like how this one looks on me. It fits me well. It's got a little hoodie on the back. Marvel jacket. Mar Avengers Campus jacket. Uh, this is a members only jacket from Box Lynch. They have it in black and red, but I got the red one. And just a leather jacket. And this is basically my normal clothing. I like color coding my clothing. So it goes from blue to green, white, gray, black, and you know, whole cycle again. So there's a cozy cone, in case you were wondering. They don't fit anywhere else. And there's my luggage carry case from Toy Story. That's what I use to travel. And then right here, as I was saying earlier, Ultimate Lightning McQueen. This is the one I use now. This one isn't damaged at all. But I remember getting this case on Amazon. I don't think they sell it anymore, but that's that. What else is in here? Oh, I recently got those at Hallmark. Those are Cars ornaments for this year, for 2022. Iron Man arm, Wakanda shield. And then there's all of my shoes up there. Ranging from boots, higher shoes, Crocs, high tops, dress shoes. Um, here are my PCP Nikes. Air Force. Air Forces. PCP. I barely use them because they're really heavy, but when I do, I do tend to get a lot of compliments for them, which is good. What else do I got here? Oh, these are some of my favorites. They're not in the best condition anymore because I used the heck out of these when I first got them. These are the New Balance Cars 3 shoes. Some of my favorites. I mean, look at the little lining bolt. I wish I can buy an extra pair to keep in packaging because I loved these shoes to the death. I mean, the little laces I have checkerboard. I would wear these all the time. They were so comfortable, but now they're really worn out, so I can't really use them anymore. I don't want to tear them apart anymore. Um, and here, behind the cones, there's a bunch of plushies from Disney Store. So you got McQueen in the fabulous paint job, a cruise, a little squishy of Lightning McQueen. What else is in here? A Jesse, Cars 3 Lightning McQueen, Cars 2 Lightning McQueen. It's just a bunch of plushies. Tomater is in there as well as a plushie and a Tsum Tsum of Mac. This is a plushie of mine that I had as a kid. Oh, and I haven't even shown you guys my wristband on my Apple Watch. Look at the design engraved on that. I think I have shown it on Instagram before. You wore it to Disney. And it has a Cars logo on that side. It's kind of hard to show, but it's there. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's an extra mini racer of Sidley. He's just chilling there. So, up here is all of my normal clothing that I use for school to go out on a normal for videos to appear in all color coded red black white blue and then you got my jackets oh and then back here I got those d23 TVs bullseye woody and Jesse's at the very bottom down there and then I got my Thor hammer at the bottom my iron gauntlet from Marvel Legends and then this um, sheath right here is the uh, Disneyland lightsaber and I think that's pretty much it oh there's a racetrack up there from cars can you get it for me because I, I can't reach that <laughs> I got you another item that I had as a kid I know very people probably remember this but that's one of my first tracks as a kid I, I can't reach <laughs> that'll do so that's pretty much it for the closet Let's see what else. I um, forgot all of that. Oh my goodness, we're not done. Yes. And this. Lounge that. fly. So when you come in through the front entrance, I know it's kind of dark in here. The light kind of sucks, but these are my Funko. I mean, not my Funko. Disney Park spins. So from here up, this is all car spins. From here down is um, Disneyland, Disney Princesses, Toy Story, Marvel. It's a very mixed bag. And here I got this signed Toy Story 4 poster. Tom Hanks, right? Yes. Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, and... I forgot her name. Andy Potts. Andy Potts. Oh, there we Potts. go. Andy Potts. <laughs> There's all my Fungo Pops up there. Star Wars, Golden State Warriors, Miraculous Ladybug, Mickey and Minnie, Stitch, The Incredibles, Descendants. These are autographed. My own Funko Pop as well that I have reviewed. And all the Toy Story ones right there. And then there's also this tapestry that i used a lot of my videos back in 2019 and 2020 it used to be down here but since now this is a marvel section you know had to move it over there and then i got my lounge fly bags that i've done videos on we got the mater one the lightning queen one the lightning and sally one 
the Cars Land one, the Spider Man one, the Cozy Coon one, and these Marvel ones down here Kate Bishop, Scarlet Witch, and Doctor Strange. I've sort of put these little keychains on the bags. Uh, which one other? Oh, this one right here. This one has a keychain too of Lightning McQueen. My brother got me that. You're welcome. There's a little Spider Man right there. Uh, and right here I have my tickets from when I've gone to the theater. Endgame, Black Widow, Shang-Chi, um, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Thor Love and Thunder, and now I'm waiting for Spider-Man, the more fun stuff, and then I'll put Black Panther 2 right there. And then I got this Hot Wheel that the Diecast Kid gave me, the Ferrari, and then I got this one at the Peterson Automotive Museum in LA. Very nice original packaging. There's something else that I needed to talk about. Oh, so my Funko Pops from Cars. It's probably the last thing we're gonna touch upon today. We start off up there. We got Ramon, Ramon Green, only a target, Doc Hudson. I'm not sure where that was an exclusive from, that blue mater. And that, uh, that mater signed by Larry the Cable Guy. And that Lightning McQueen one is signed by Owen Wilson. San Diego Comic Con exclusive, Danica Lightning McQueen. Meyer exclusive, Primer Lightning McQueen. Rusty's Racing Center, only at Target Lightning McQueen, Normal Car Street Lightning McQueen, Toys R Us exclusive Lightning McQueen, the Fabulous Lightning McQueen paint job, that is, Cruiser Mirrors, and only at Walmart, Luigi and Guido, and there is a wooden Lightning McQueen there from a few videos ago, and a Neon Racers pack of Lightning McQueen and Shoot to the Roki. Let's see if we can get a better shot of that. A lot of people tell me that they think that my room is big, but... It really isn't. My room is kind of small. It's not as big as some people may think. But maybe you see it's big in the videos, but me personally, it's a very small room. I mean, just back up and you'll see a human in comparison to this room. It's not the biggest room, but I've made the most of it. I've lived in this house since I was, uh, how old was I? I've lived in this house since 2012. 12 if I'm not mistaken so 10 years or 11 or 12 years something like that because we used to live at another house before we came to McAllen from San Francisco because I'm from San Francisco in case you guys didn't know but now I live in Texas in McAllen very small city and this is a small house right but I've made the most of it the room used to be painted baby blue but now it's gray but that was years ago and um, that's pretty much it for the room tour I can't think of anything else that was quite the extensive tour. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my 2022 room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite thing was. Obviously, I can't show everything in detail because, I mean, there's over 2,500 pieces of just car stuff. And there's like probably well over 500 Marvel pieces alone. So it takes a while to tour this room. But, well, at least piece by piece, it takes a while to tour. But as a whole room tour... You get an idea of what's here and what's not. I'm missing about 200 characters to complete every character ever made by Mattel. Not every car, because there's a bunch of variations of stuff, but every character. I need 200 more characters and the collection will be complete. Because if you count um, the Cars 2 Talking Diecast, the Quick Changers, the Color Changers from Cars 1 and 2, then I'm missing probably a good a thousand cars still. That's like five other more shelves. But characters from all three, well, no, just Cars 1 and Cars 2. From Cars 3, I'm up to date with everything. Cars 1 and Cars 2, I'm missing about 200 characters. So I'm hoping my goal for next year when I do another room tour is that you guys will see every character on display from Cars 1, 2, and 3. But for now, that's my collection. Piston Cup Productions signing out, and I will see you guys next time. Hello everyone, welcome back to Piston Cup Productions and to my 2022 room tour. So, this is one of the first videos that I'll be creating to celebrate 100,000 subscribers. There's plenty more videos that are... Bleh, I'll start again.